Okay, so we're moving into an age where, <laughs> sorry my English, we're moving into an age where things are gonna get harder for Christians. Like it's probably gonna come as a surprise to most Christians how strict things will be. And people will have to make a decision to follow God or to follow the world still. And that is one huge reason to start making your own businesses instead of uh, relying on an employer who is not Christian uh, to get your income. Because as we saw in COVID, many employers demanded that you take the jab, the, the dildo or whatever you call it <laughs> in your arm to, to work there even, to work in your workplace unless you would lose your job. And these things are coming, of course, more and more. This is a test, okay? Corona was the test and the, the real thing will come. I mean, we're having a very, like, calm era right now. But probably things will just... They will tighten the news really tight so that you can't really work in a workplace and still call yourself a Christian because you're going to have to compromise on so many levels. And also another thing is the pride thing, like how many corporations have the pride flag every year and they support pride openly. And it's like you're under you're you submit yourself kind of to this spirit. I don't know if I'm not sure about that, but you, you kind of submit yourself to this employer who has this spirit of the pride, the homosexuality the spirit of Antichrist in such a way, blatant way, and promoting uh, sin and immorality in such a way that it's difficult to, to like be a Christian in his workplace. So we have to get more and more clear about where we're going to want to go. Like, do we want to go to heaven? Do we want to, to go the world way? Right? And... I think that's a big reason why I I felt in my spirit that I should not take a normal job. But being um, an entrepreneur, and it's been so freaking difficult, I tell you. And it's never been more difficult than it is now. Uh, and the news have really been tightened around my neck uh, with taxes and things. And all the challenges that I've met doing entrepreneurship all the different like people that like, come to you demanding money or trying to deceive you into giving them money somehow investing in stupid shit uh, which I have done uh, which have made me come into some sort of financial situation that is very difficult and having to deal with this, of course, it makes me stronger when I get out of this and, and when I learn to deal with these things better and take the devil by the horns, so to say. But the amount of challenges has been uh, very great. And um, yeah, hopefully you're not as stupid as I've been in running a business. Um, but it has not been easy, I tell you that, I tell you that much. Um, so please keep me in your prayers, and I'll pray for you as well. And I hope that you find an employer, or that you find your own business, that you don't have to bow down to the flag pride, the flag, uh, pride flags, and the, the antichrist spirit too much, okay, in Jesus name. Or at all, in Jesus' name. We have to like be more like, no, 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 no. And Jesus, yes, Jesus. We choose Jesus. Amen.